Okay, guys, we were interrupted by a fire drill, so I'm just going to finish up showing you how to graph this real quick. Um, now, this inequality here is what I'm going to try and put on the graph. What I was talking to you about when the fire drill went off is a way to find intercepts. If you have an inequality in this format, this might be an easier way to graph than putting in MX plus B form, especially for a word problem. So if you want to figure out where a graph intersects the x-axis, everywhere across here, the y has to be 0. So what you can just do, just real quick, if I plug in 0 for y, I can solve that to figure out the x-coordinate of the intercept. So if I plug in 0 for y here, what's going to happen? I'm going to have 10 times 0. That's going to wipe that term out. So sometimes in Algebra 1, they just have you cover that up because plugging in 0 is going to actually do that. So the little equation I'm going to solve is just going to be 5x equals 300. I'm just going to real quick divide both sides by 5, and that means when y is 0, x is 60. So my x-intercept, I'm just going to come over here and put that on the 60. And similar thing, I'm going to get another point by finding the y-intercept. All right, anytime you find a y-intercept, it can be a line, it can be any kind of a graph. If it has a y-intercept, you're going to be on the y-axis. If you're a point on the y-axis, then your x value has to be 0. The y-coordinate could be anything. Now, if I then go ahead and plug in 0 for x here, 5 times 0 is 0, so that just wipes that coordinate or that part of the equation or inequality here out. So I'm going to do 10y and just go ahead and set that equal to the 300. That's We're just looking for the point here. I'm going to divide both sides by 10, so then the y-intercept is 30. Now, you only ever need two points to create a line, so right there I've got two points, and just because they're a little spaced out from each other, I'm going to grab my contractor just so I can play connect the dots real quick. You can just do this freehand. You don't have to do it with a straight edge. I just thought that might be a little easier to see. Now, I need the amount the radio station spends on these tickets to be less than or equal to 300. So the shading would be below. So the overlap, where we sell at least 25 of the $5 tickets, but we don't spend more than 300, the overlap is going to be this little triangle right in here. Okay, and then if you have to give a possible solution, we just have to find any point in this lovely shaded area. I'm just going to randomly pick a point that's in the shaded part. This is the point for my representation. I have 35 and 5, just as a possible example. Any point that falls in there would also work. And I'm going to do one more. Now, this is a system that has three inequalities, so that just means the shading needs to work for all three of them. So first one I'm going to graph y is greater than or equal to negative 2. So this is going to be a solid line. So negative 2 straight across, oh I didn't do a good job, sorry, so straight across on the negative 2, solid line, all these points would be included in our solution, and then I'm just going to lightly shade because we're going to figure out the overlap for all three. Greater than goes above, so I would just lightly shade kind of that half of the graph above there. All right, the second inequality, I've got y is less than negative 2x plus 7, so this is going to be a dashed line. We're going to shade below. I shaded above this other one, just to note that. So we're going to go 7, and my slope is negative 2, so I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and this is going to be a dashed line. Again, I'm just, I'm going to use my contractor real quick. You don't have to do this. You can just do freehand just so I can get a decent dotted line there. We'd shade below that. So just kind of come down here. And at this point, the overlap would be in between here. I got one more inequality, though, and I'm just realizing I need a different color pen. Okay, we'll use this one. This is less than or equal to. And so it's going to be a solid line. If you see it, it's solid. And less than is going to go below. So we're going to start that at 1 on the y-axis. And our slope is up for 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, 2, 3. And if you want to do a couple, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. And again, I'm going to make this a solid line that I'm going to shade below. So I'm just using my 
straight edge here. Now below, just, just lightly shading down. Okay, so I've got to be above my green line, below my red line, below my black line. So the overlap is going to be this lovely little triangle right in here. And it's not a huge area, but all the points that fall in that region would work for all three.